Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Dinner Guide. My name is Chef Andy and today we are going to be working on a simple yet heartwarming kind of a soup. So without further ado, I'm just going to take you into our ingredients on my right. Uh, from the front I have some white onion, I have some beautiful coriander and some fresh parsley. I've got a nice piece of lemon there, some beautiful regular noodles. I've got some celery sticks here that have been julienned some nice beautiful carrots there. I also have some peppers here that have been roasted in the oven and then we rinse them under cold running water. I've got a nice beautiful pot of stock here. So definitely beef stock or vegetable stock is uh, required for this dish. And then I've got some tomato paste, some hot sauce, some uh, thyme, some uh, seasoning there. We've got some turmeric, we've got some olive oil, some chickpeas, some salt and some pepper. So without further ado, we're going to jump into a short commercial break and when we come back, we're just going to go straight into this dish. See you in the shop. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, for those who missed out on the introductory bit of this beautiful show today, we are going to be making a heartwarming soup, something simple, something you can make as a dinner on its own, you can also have it as a snack on its own, you can make it in advance and have it for lunch even on the day after. So without further ado, I'm just going to take you into the dish and I'm just going to reintroduce it as we continue. So we're going to be making a very, very simple soup today. And uh, we're just going to start off with uh, getting our pan nice and hot here on the side. So I'm using a nice, beautiful, thick base pot. Uh, it's the best one for making a soup because first of all, you get that extra room to actually allow your soup to cook and reduce. Second of all, because you're working with a liquid, you don't want to work with a shallow pan because it might spill and you might actually injure yourself in the process, okay? So I'm just going to start off with a bit of olive oil in the pot there, about one tablespoon. And then I'm just going to go in with some white onions, which we're just going to sweat out for about two to three minutes. Right, so very, very, very simple soup, as I said. For those who are feeling out of weather, if you're not feeling so much like cooking, this is definitely a substitute you don't want to miss. Right, so sweat those onions out for about an extra one minute. Remember not to allow them to color because we are not trying to fry anything in there. We are just going to give it a bit of flavor. This is the reason why we don't cook them to a point that we actually color them. Okay, so nice, beautiful onions there. I'm just gonna go in with my carrots and then some of my celery, julienne. Just gonna give that a nice, beautiful mix. Right, and then to that we're going to be also incorporating some tomato paste. I've got some stock seasoning here, some turmeric, some chickpeas, and some salt and pepper. So I'm just going to go in first with my chickpeas. Give that a nice quick mixture. And then I'm just going to go in with a pinch of salt. This is just to build the flavor before we continue. Got some stock seasoning there. So this is just regular stock powder. You can also substitute it with uh, uh, some no uh, convenience uh, soup making uh, powder. Also works really well for a soup. Right, nice aromas coming through. We're just going to add in our turmeric. A bit of black pepper, just a tiny little pinch. Remember, you don't want to overpower the flavor too early. Right, and just to 
cool off our pot here a little bit, some vegetable or some beef stock. So I'm just gonna go in with about one and a half cups. Right, so we're just going to give that a bit of time to come to the to come to boiling point. And in the meantime, we're just going to go for our red peppers on this side. So remember, this has these have been pre-cooked in the oven. Uh, I roasted them whole. They came out of the oven. I let them cool off for a little bit just to give it a bit of time for the skin and the pepper to actually separate. You can also rush the process by roasting them and throwing them straight in an, uh, in an airtight bag. Just tie it up and let it sit for a little bit. So these, as you can see, they're nicely cored. So this is definitely just a paper without the outer uh, silky layer that we took out earlier. So all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to roughly chop them up. So just some rough chops, as I said. Remember, this is going to cook in anyway, so please don't be mindful of how you chop them. They're just going to cook down anyway. Right, so our nice, beautiful roasted red and yellow peppers. So remember, for this particular part of the dish, I am going to remind you that the idea of cooking a pepper in the oven, you can do it for a whole lot of other reasons. But for me personally, I did this to just get the beautiful flavor of the, of the mixed peppers, because this is basically the background and the base of our dish. Right, so in goes the beautiful mixture of red and yellow peppers. Last but not least, one tablespoon of tomato paste. I'm just gonna give that a nice quick mixture. All right, so at this stage we're just going to allow, we're just going to bring the heat a little higher and we're gonna allow our liquid to get to simmering point. After that, we're just going to incorporate our noodles in there and a bit more stock. We're just going to jump into a short commercial break and when we come back, we're just going to get to the finishing bit of this dish. See you in a short while. Don't touch the dial. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen from the short break. For those who missed out on what we were doing just before the break, we were actually doing a beautiful soup on the side here. So in the pot went in some peppers, uh, some celery, some carrot, a bit of uh, uh, soup seasoning, a bit of salt and pepper. Um, yeah, and uh, basically now we are just going to add a few of the last ingredients that were left off. And I'm just going to start by chopping them up. So in the small bowl here, I have some chop, some uh, fresh coriander and some fresh parsley. So all I'm going to do with this, I'm just going to give them a nice, quick, rough chop. Like that. So just a rough chop, simple and quick. All that goes in the pot. So nice, beautiful yellow colors there from the yellow peppers, from the orange, from the carrots, a bit of green there from the celery and from the parsley and uh, the coriander. So some tips to remember when making your soup, always remember to just have a nice beautiful balance of colors, play with as many, as many ingredients as you possibly have around you, always makes a difference. And for the herbs, as I mentioned as well, try to use fresh and try not to work with, uh, try not to work with dried herbs. And then as well for the stock, if you don't have time to brew your own stock, it's always also easier to just 
uh, buy some stock cubes or just uh, dilute them also in a bit of water and give it a nice mix. Right, so our soup is almost done now. So just to finish it off, we're just going to add a bit of the noodles. So all we are going to do is just give that a nice quick mix and allow the noodles to just cook into the soup and our soup will be ready to serve in a short while. So you could also blanch your noodles separately and add them to the dish. I like to add them as they are to the soup because first of all, uh, it gives them a bit of time to just absorb all those flavors from the stock and from the vegetables that we've been cooking. And it just generally adds to a beautiful appearance generally for your soup just before you plate it. So I'm just going to reduce my temperature now. So it's now simmering at very low temperature. Remember my vegetables are already cooked and we're going to be serving this chunky. This doesn't have to go into the blender so you don't want to overcook your vegetables as well. So all I'm doing now with my spoon is I'm just working the mixture around. This is just to allow the noodles to break apart and to quickly soften into the soup. So this, uh, the mixing process, always do it on a bit of low heat. Don't do it while the heat is high because you don't want to break your vegetables. So I like to turn the heat a little lower. This allows you to keep the dish hot while not overcooking it. Also just gives you just enough time before your pot just comes down to a lower temperature and just gives your soup just enough time to get that nice beautiful finish. And as well as we mentioned earlier, just to give also your noodles some time to really cook into the sauce, to really cook into your soup, you don't want to serve them raw. Alright, so this is done, just gonna turn off the heat. So very, very simple technique, as I mentioned earlier, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see from the color, beautiful orange, yellow, green, just shouting out from the plate. So we're just going to go into the plating process of the dish. So I'm just going to first give it a nice, quick mixture. And I'm just going to go with a random serving. All right, always be as close to your bowl as possible. Give it a bit of time to drain the excess and then just move your spoon and right into the middle of your soup bowl. All right, so we're just going to reserve some of that liquid and we're just going to add a bit of our vegetables and a bit of our noodles that was left over at the bottom there. Be sure not to put too much liquid at once, otherwise you might miss out the chance to actually garnish your plate with the vegetables. So I'm just going to play around with this beautiful carrot triangular chunks we cut earlier. Just going to lay them on the sides like that. Keep that aside. Alright, and just to finish it off, I always use just a bit of uh, parsley. Right. And then last but not least, just going to slice that lemon there. Remember, this is not the the, the, the the lemon is not a particularly important ingredient in the dish, but it does make that extra difference. It does give your dish a bit of a lift, brings all those curry flavors in together, and it just sums up the dish really beautifully. So I'm just going to finish garnishing that. Right here, just some improvised garnishes that I got from my garden. Right, just gonna open those up a little bit like that. I'm going to finish off that with a bit of parsley and just a beautiful drizzle of lemon just right over the top. Right, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, easy to make soup, as we always say. Something you can be able to do yourselves as from now. Let's finish that with a bit of dried thyme. Just a bit over the plate, just for ambience and for visual. 
All right. And last but not least, a bit of the hot sauce, which I'm just going to lay on the side there. So ladies and gentlemen, as I said, a very, very simple dish you can now be able to make from home. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, this is a somewhat comfort, somewhat light dinner, somewhat something you can have for lunch or carry to work as a snack the following day. Very easy to make and I'm sure most of you have managed to be able to follow the recipe right through to the end. So without further ado, from my end uh, here at the studios, You've been watching uh, Dinner Guide. Um, your host has been Chef Andy. It's been a pleasure being with you today. I can't wait to see you guys on the next segment. From my end, it's a goodbye. Have a lovely night. <laughs>